the heading coming up is black scholes model so you know what uh, they say i just for the sake of saying because i need to start something and speak something about black scholes model so there there are three people involved in this model one is mr black number one is mr scholes and number three is called mr merton his name is not there so at times we also call this model as bsm model so the students say if i say what is the full form of bsm they say mr black mr scholes and mr model it's not mr model it's mr merton okay so we also call it as bsm so they say that if we if we do a binomial model for every minute for very short periods if you remember we did binomial model for a big maturity like one month or two months maybe one day it is also possible but if you do a binomial model for every minute possible it will become a very unwieldy unmanageable web which you cannot solve manually then it becomes a black scholes model actually and that is why they solve with the help of calculus actually okay so that is the main logic of black scholes model but then i'll just write few things for the sake of writing because they clearly mention understanding and derivation of the concept of black scholes model is beyond the scope of the curriculum point number 1 point number 2 in my 14 years of teaching non stop career i have not seen a single sum of bsm in the examination but if you are thinking that you can avoid then i am really bullish on this sum a lot actually they might ask you at any point of time of course it will not involve any understanding but yes the formula has to be marked up and shamelessly marked up actually <laughs> so when <laughs> so they they just uh, get some you know kind of uh, food for fun you know in the class when they are sitting face to face one in front of each other so they keep on put they keep pulling my leg actually that, that is why they do all this the students you know kind of but we enjoy we used to enjoy a lot a lot means a lot it it used to be a big fun actually being in the class i miss so much so much i can't tell you <sighs> i know god god knows when it will be a reality uh, in future i don't know whether it will be a reality live classes will be there or not if they will be there then how many students will be there i don't know i don't know anything but i really my me being a teacher means life and face to face class uh what to say it's very nostalgic actually we i have lived a very very rich life in terms of the as a teacher in face to face market very 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 i have enjoyed my best i i really regret seeing many teachers who are upcoming budding teachers who have not been able to see that kind of market in the life face to face classroom you know it's fun the the profession is a fun when you, when only when you are face to face of course i appreciate because the people who are not in front of me in terms of recorded they have to see but then i'm like i would love i would have loved all of you to be in front of me like that so when we prepare a binomial tree for very small maturities it would become an unmanageable web which can be so this there is there is something called continuous continuous compounding in bsm we use continuous compounding you know so you know the logic now the background so because suppose for a day also i prepare a binomial tree for every one hour also then also it is difficult to solve we cannot solve it actually which can be solved only with the help of bsm okay just write for the sake of writing don't don't try to understand you will not understand number 
assumptions of bsm i am giving this because they might ask in theory question assumption assumptions of bsm okay then a the options are they will ask you in theory question the options are european in nature number 2 the stock follows a log normal distribution what is that i'll tell you a log normal distribution you know something you know something that asset price asset price cannot fall below zero okay the returns of the asset follow a normal distribution because the returns can become negative right and becoming a negative means you have eaten away your principal component but the asset prices cannot be follow a normal distribution they have to follow a log normal so what is a log normal distribution a log normal distribution is a distribution which cannot fall below zero so maybe i can give you some uh, like diagram like this is this is log normal and this is normal so asset prices will always follow this distribution this one and asset returns can follow this distribution okay so this is normal distribution and this is log normal then c the stock under consideration is x dividend the reason you already know because derivatives do not allow you to enjoy derivatives do not allow you to enjoy dividend you cannot have dividends so that is why the stock underlying stock should be x dividend you have been doing in futures also then d unlimited borrowing and possible at rf in practical life it is not possible to borrow and lend unlimited at one rate it is not possible but there is an assumption e there are costs like brokerage commission and taxes and it's good enough if you get a question for four marks if you write these five assumptions it will be good enough actually black schools model is very popular but most of the people like it is already feeded in the software they just you just put your data and you get the answer once you start solving questions of bsm you will be able to relate more and more till here i'm sure you would not have been able to relate at all at all means at all okay now the formula the value of a call can be computed rf means uh, risk free uh, sanho i'll give you the full form don't worry let me write the formula can be computed with the help of below mentioned equation but you have many questions of ici uh in your like old if you if you open your practice manual of old curriculum you will see quite a lot of questions 
that means before i started teaching they were asking questions on bsm so nothing stops them from asking now also so it is c0 careful huh? c0 so s0 into nd1 minus present value of e into nd2 so what is the what is the payoff of a call s minus e s minus e is the payoff of the call correct no so uh, e, when is when is your option going to uh, mature on maturity so your uh, e will be so you are you would need e at the end of the maturity so if you see it is s minus e why pv because e is standing on the day of maturity and you are standing today so if you want to reduce e from s it has to be a present value then what is nd1 and nd2 nd1 is and nd2 are nothing but the probabilities of s happening s and probability of e basically so what is nd1 normally distributed value that means normally distributed value of d1 and normally distributed value of d2 where d1 and d2 are nothing but you pick up some values from the z table multiply because the chance of that s and e is not 100% basically it roughly means that only so s minus e it is basically so that is that is what you have been doing till now so now how do you calculate i will give you some names here only actually c0 stands for call value at t equal to 0 then s0 is a stock value at t equal to 0 then you have nd1 normally normal normal means like normal i mean life is normal not that normal normal means from z table normally distributed value of d1 then e is your exercise price and nd2 is normally distributed value of d2 I find easiest among all the three models. Why? I don't, I'm not supposed to. Officially, I'm not supposed to understand like that. Okay, then you there is something D1 and D2 that we need to calculate, guys. How do we calculate? Look at this here. Now, D1 will be ln of S0 minus S0 by E, not minus, then plus RF plus sigma square by 2 the whole into t sigma root over t so if you ask me if you ask me i will tell you that the value of a call the value of an option is based on five factors based on five factors okay the value of that premium that is quoted in the market is dependent on five factors what are the five factors? The first factor is the stock price. Then the second factor is the interest rate in the market, RF. Then the third factor is the volatility of the stock, sigma. Then time to maturity and exercise price. So you need five variables to solve a question of Black Scholes model. That means it says that the value of a call premium or a call value is dependent on five factors. Number one, the value of the underlying stock s the exercise price the interest rate prevailing in the market the time to maturity and the volatility of the stock because the higher the volatility of the stock higher will be the risk and accordingly the call premium or the put premium will change so you are not supposed to know so much of things guys just relax on that part 
okay so d1 you will calculate like this so so the value of the d1 and d2 will be observed in the z table the way you were looking for z value same way one tail two tail and cumulative and when you when when you, we calculate d1 and when that value we go and see in the z table it becomes nd1 so basically what is that the probability uh, values actually and what is d2 d2 is d1 minus d1 minus sigma root over t i'll give you the names of all the abbreviations actually so ln stands for log normal so ln value log table you have to log table basically uh, the log value of s0 by e but then uh, they will give you the ln value in the bottom because they will not give you the log table even if they give you i don't know how many of you will know how to see a log table is a stock price it is risk free rate of interest then t is time to maturity and sigma is volatility of stock or sd of stock i think i have given everything there d1 and d2 are basically the way you calculate basically the way you calculate it na that plus 1 and minus 1 that is how is d1 and d2 so when you see that d1 and d2 in the z table they become nd1 and nd2 so basically what is nd1 and nd2 the probability of s and the probability of e 